Hello, welcome back to the New Hampshire Woodshop. Well, today we're going to continue building the cab rear leg desk. Um, right now, I'm getting ready to glue the back apron uh, onto the legs. So I thought I'd, I thought I'd show you guys how I go about doing that, and it's got a few little technical issues that might be interesting. So I'll bring you in, and we will uh, glue this thing up. All right. Okay, we're set up here on my bench. Um, what we're going to do is this, I have, okay, here we have my apron, and I have two tenons in here. This is a 7-inch span, or somewhere right around 7 inches in it. I wanted a strong mortise, as, uh, as well as there's going to be uh, a fair amount of expansion and contraction with this board, because it is 7 inches wide. You know, fair amount, I'm talking an eighth of an inch. Uh, but it's enough to possibly crack crack a board in. Uh, we don't need to do that. We don't need to take that risk. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we made two tenons. I'm going to glue this, the bottom tenon, in. I'm just going to glue it nice and fast um, on here and then let any type of um, expansion and contraction that will happen, happen on this side. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a draw bore mortise and tenon joint. And so what that entails is drilling my hole here, slipping my apron, this tenon in here, marking that spot, and then uh, pulling it back out and drilling a hole just a little bit towards the shoulder of uh, my apron. Just a tiny little bit. And what that's going to do is as I drive the peg in, it's going to pull this joint tight and it will always stay tight and by elongating the hole then will allow it to move up and down uh, but still holding it tight to the post. That will become clear as we go along. So first thing we want to do is drill this hole. I'm 7 16 7 inch in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this board I cut, slip it in here and what I'm going to, what that's going to do is it's not going to it's going to keep me from tearing out or blowing out as I drill a hole through the the uh, face here. So let's go ahead and do it. And the board is going to go all the way down drilling. Okay. There's a hole. Now it's a nice clean cut on the inside. Slip this back in. Want to line it up exactly where I want it to be. Okay. Get it tight. There we are. I'm going to take my drill bit out of my drill. Pop it in here, give it a little mark, ah, let me tap it, okay, okay, there's my hole, right there, alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset it just a bit, right about there. Let's see if we can 
see in that hole. Yeah, can you see how it's offset just a hair? That's going to pull it in tight. Okay. Now I want to elongate this uh, nice and square in line with your apron here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to make a mark. This edge, this end here. Try to keep my fingers out of the shot, out of the way anyway. And then bottom end of this hole. There, there we go. That's a little, a little bit much. Let's try that. Okay. I've got this little file that I will just doesn't take much. It just needs to give the wood a place to go as it moves. That should do. I think that looks pretty good. Now, what we'll do is put glue on there as well as a little bit of glue on the um, in the mortise as well. So let's go ahead and get going on there. Oh, I'm going to peg this tenon as well, but I'm going to go from this side and I'm going to hold it down here. I'm going to drive it in and end about this this deep right here. Yeah, I'm not going to go through and that's why I also can't go from there because I don't want it showing naturally. So I'll, once it's all glued and dry and everything, then I'll come in and I'll drive, I'll drill a hole and drive a, drive a peg in. But that will be later. I don't want a lot of squeeze out coming up. I'm going to get a little bit, I'm sure, because I always do. But I don't want a lot. So be a little sparing on the tenon. And then I'll put more in the mortise. So that as I slide it, the tenon home, any glue squeeze out will go towards the bottom of the mortise where it's hidden and not out along the face of the apron where I have to then deal with it. Okay, does that make sense? I think it does. Okay. got my peg here tapered to a nice point so that uh, as I drive it in it doesn't just blow out it'll hopefully uh, conform to the bend That's really nice and tight here. And we're through there. 
but we're going to put a clamp and try and clamp this a little tighter here because it's putting a lot of force here but nothing there so let's get a clamp on it there we go popped it right into place okay now when the glue dries I'll saw this off saw it off on the inside as well and um, put a peg in this joint and I'm going to do that on all all four legs and it should be quite good okay that's it that's the pegging uh, drawboard peg uh, technique that I'm using on this desk I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me a thumbs up I'd appreciate that and next time we will do more of this um, molding from knee to knee uh, that should be pretty interesting so until then have a good day and i will see you next time on the new hampshire wood shop bye now